Alright, here we go. We're going to review Mortal Kombat 1. Let's get into it, shall we? Gearis, my old friend. Let's have a CGI. It's good to see you. Likewise, Lord Liu Kang. Duty is my highest calling. I like the CGI, good, good graphics. The Cyrex and uh not sure he is. He's in the background as a way to destroy the enemy. That's cool. The backgrounds look decent. The gameplay looks smooth. You can tag team people in. That's cool. Gyrus is the guardian of the hourglass, a celestial object which lies beyond the realms. The hourglass regulates time and destiny. Okay. There we go. Okay, reminds me of the other Mortal Kombat XL and X. Very smooth gameplay. I see some massive fatalities, yeah? There you go, the bone crunches, nice. I want to see the whole map iced up or burned up or something just absolutely nutty crazy. I have watched okay, with the good. Hourglass. You are relishing your role as Earthrealm's protector. Scorpion, I see. Okay, I like this background, by the way, with a natural-looking forest. Those with power must know how to use it wisely. Again, nice background, and look at that double team. Nice. When you restarted history, you altered the destiny. They're making it too much like the movies. This is wrong. This is that's just a little bit much. Nice finishing move. Yes. Scorpion is very badass. Yeah, that's good. Let's see some uh, Baraka, yeah? Let's see some uh, more Sub-Zero. Reptile. Let's see some Liu Kang and some Raiden. Oh, that's pretty cool. Got him. Oh, he's grinding the gore off him. Nice. The face off him. Gotta love the gore, man. That's what makes Mortal Kombat amazing is the gore. That's what we want. We want it crazy, though. We want people blown apart, ripped apart. We want it just completely insane. Like, we want the sky to fall down on people. We... It looks good, but for $70, it's not a good price. I think it should be like around $50 to $60. Yes. Um, what they could they have done better? They could have put like uh, lightning bolts flying through the trees into the actual characters. They could have like um, had Scorpion um, pulled his massive, get over here and put it through the trees and ripped them into the trees. Uh, they could have had like a water scene where Raiden or Sub-Zero, probably Sub-Zero, would ice the actual map. And the whole, like, bottom of the, the map is all iced up. And the characters ice up as well. You know? Um, they could have had, like, um, lightning bolts again. Just soaring through the character. Like, Raiden was covered in lightning bolts. And he's just electrocuting his, his enemy. Like, absolute crazy. Uh, yeah, I think, I feel like the game's okay. And the graphics-wise, looks good. Gameplay-wise, looks smooth. The frames look good. Um, I'm sure it's a big character base, so there's be a lot of characters to play with. Price-wise, it's over overpriced. Will I be playing it? I don't know. Okay, people, that's my little review of it. Let me know what you think about this game, and if you've got this game, how do you enjoy it? Do you like it? Do you not? Or do you hate it? Let me know in the comment section. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. If you're new, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.